These ideas of absolute and relative mobility are kind of related. So remember, <laughs> absolute mobility is are you better off than the previous generation? Are you doing better than your parents were at the same? Is, is the economy growing? And are the proceeds of growth being shared around? You know, I think you could pretty pretty good sense that that was happening. Between 1950 and 1973, the US economy grew at an average of 4% a year. So no wonder people felt better off at the end of that 25 year period. And for many of the post-war decades, not only in the US, but particularly in the US, there's massive economic growth. And what that means is that that genera the generation that the best from that growth were hugely better off than the previous generation. And so there's a lot of upwardly mobile people in that sense, unsurprisingly, if you get 25 years of strong growth. Growth is slow now, and so you won't see quite the same actually mobility. Relative mobility is a zero-sum game where we're kind of moving up and down. But I